Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Vortex Gaming and Reaction. Welcome to another reaction video. Today we're gonna have a video that is called Feminist Meltdowns for 12 Minutes. <laughs> this is not usually a topic that I like to get involved with, you know. Uh, this uh, whole feminist and uh, veganism and uh, woke. You know? And I thought, you know what, let's, uh, let's have a video and let's take a look at what these people do. So if you guys enjoy, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's watch the video. Being with the business case of the airlines in terms of obesity. That's greed, Lynn, and that's just greed. Okay. Well, I think oh, you're yeah. a perfect yeah. example of greed, sweet pea, because you weigh 25. Sorry, <laughs> did she call her sweet Pikachu? <laughs> I don't know, maybe... That's just agreeing with the business case of the airlines in terms of obesity. That's greed, Lynn, and that's just greed. Okay. Well, I think oh, you're a perfect yeah. example of greed, sweet pea, because you weigh... Sweet pea, because... Okay. <laughs> I, I thought you called her sweet Pikachu. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. 25 stars. Perfect. Okay, Art, would you describe yourself as a feminist? Yes. So how do you, do you believe in gender? You know what? Uh, I see this, um, this podcast. It's coming up quite often in my, uh, in my short feed, especially. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't subscribed to this channel. I think I watched like one or two videos uh, while I was scrolling through the shorts and I saw something and since then, I always <laughs> see this kind of this uh, these videos, especially this girl that was uh, <laughs> for, that it was shown here at first. I always see her, you know. <laughs> I think she's like the main character in this uh, in this uh, show podcast, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so how do you reconcile believing in gender equality, but also holding men to their traditional gender roles of paying for the first date? Well, I'm, I'm just saying that's my personal view. A woman can, being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do. Being a feminist is just doing whatever <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> <laughs> I like this quote, <laughs> you know. <laughs> being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do. How is that a thing? I thought feminists, they work, they fight for like uh, rights and things like that, you know, for the women's, you know, for, for the gender, uh, for the female gender. Uh, <laughs> but according to her, yeah, just whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Feminism is doing whatever you want to do with no accountability or repercussions for your actions. Wait, is that also, wait. Feminism is doing whatever you want to do with no accountability or repercussions for your actions. Also making sure you get offended by everything a man... Because men are... Nah, nah, this is... Nah. This has to be... Oh, fuck this. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm, now it makes me curious. Now I want to Google this shit. Okay, no, that's not the... The definition, yeah? So... <laughs> I thought it was like... A, no, it, it didn't make any fucking sense. Like, I don't know why it's a definition from Google 100% legit. No, that's... That's bullshit. Also, making sure you get offended by everything a man does because men are trash. Being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do. And not being bashed by society for that and uh, obviously like like um standing up for like women's like right i don't think she knows what the fuck she's talking about <laughs> yeah that, that's true <laughs> it's like bro what the fuck is she saying <laughs> yeah i don't think she knows what she, she's just uh, making up stuff while she's there you know and stuff like that but when it i don't know i just feel like this question's really dense you believe in gender equality don't you think you ought to split the bill on the first date? Um, no, because my main concern with gender equality is through, like, yes, in society, like, fixing that and through, like, the system. But, yeah, I don't, oh my god. She's fucking stupid. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be mean. No. Sorry. I take that back. At no point. In your rambling, incoherent response, <laughs> were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I don't think there are any risks to eating animal foods exclusively. And you are a psychiatrist, am right, I correct? Right, I a residency in psychiatry. So what do you know about nutrition? What is Where any... did you gain... Do I need a doctorate in order to eat meat? Your background in nutrition. Listen, this is, I think... No, is you a... listen to me and answer my question. Now I'm asking you I'm... to tell us where your background emanates from. I went to medical school 
and I studied nutrition in medical school, yeah. and I studied nutrition independently. One of the crazy things about medical school is that it teaches you how to read articles. Yeah, that's true. Like, <laughs> you don't need to go to medical school and study nutrition in order to educate yourself, you know, like to read some articles or uh, stuff like that. Like, why would you need to go to medical school in order to know about nutrition and uh, what to eat or not, what not to eat, you know? <laughs> that's, <laughs> man, that's fucking crazy. I'm a doctor. Medicine needs to think about teaching <clears throat> doctors more nutrition in medical school. But it is up to us to educate ourselves. Just because there's a degree that says a doctor doesn't mean that we have or don't have medical nutritional knowledge. The it's bottom line fair. is you practice psychiatry, am I correct? I practice medicine. I you think practice the, psychiatry, I is that correct? Medicine. Another. <laughs> she, she just wanted to win the fight, you know? She's like, nah, you're a psychiatrist, you're not a nutritionist. <laughs> Back to me being really f***ing mad in my car. And I can't guarantee there's not gonna be screaming because I'm pissed. One of my best friends posted a TikTok about her health experience. In the comments on- Why is she so angry? What happened with her? On that video, disgusted me. Most of them were men invalidating the way she was feeling. Telling her she's the type of girl that would say catcalling is sexual harassment. No, it's What's she talking about? I, 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 I don't even follow what she's talking about. I don't know what- She's screaming, but I don't know what she's talking about. Flash, it is! It was either that or saying not all men. Literally suck my d Last year, 57 people in the world, the entire world, were attacked by a shark. But y'all are still cautious around sharks, are you not? Do you know how many women on average a year are attacked by a man? 3.4 million women a year! So, like, we have every single right to be a- I thought Wow, okay. She kind of looks like me. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why they're always pissed off, like, this lady? What's going on here? They're always angry. Really? You telling me you're a lady and you sitting here coming up on me screaming? Why can't she do Look, that? It's a free world. You want 50 50? You want 50 50? What the whole fucking thing? Yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> so there's no more equality here. Yeah, she wants the, the whole thing. She doesn't want 50 50. <laughs> no more equality. <laughs> Okay. I wish you good luck. I want equality. I, I love it. 50 50 or a whole motherfucker? No, 50 50. Man. Oh, oh, or fuck. Oh. Why? You said 50 50 or whole. Now you say whole or fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. What's wrong with, uh, with society, guys? What happened with us? Something went wrong throughout the years. <laughs> I'm sad. Oh, fuck <laughs> you! I don't know what hold means. <laughs> I don't know what hold means. <laughs> that was. That was <laughs> oh my god. She was screaming. Oh, hold, hold. Well, I don't know what hold means. <laughs> you know that's like an ignorant way to stand, right? Like. What? What? Wait, what? Over the... here. Feminists are smelly. Why Why would you write down that? <laughs> why would you hold that sign <laughs> in the middle of the street? <laughs> this guy has some big balls, yeah? I tell you I'm actually half best. handicapped, so that's very offensive that you said that. Yeah, no. Yeah. I probably tell I'm that super offended, offensive. actually. Yeah. yeah. So lying and being a high conflict is part of your personality disorder. Why are you looking at women with your fucking eyes? Are you a woman? <laughs> Oh my god, so you... Oh, I so couldn't, you, I didn't even know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm binary so it doesn't really matter. Like, that's why I asked. I was trying to be polite. That's what you should do, right? <laughs> Peter, I just want to get one final thought from you. Are there words that are used to describe men that offend you? <clears throat> uh, not particularly, and, and if, if there are some I don't like, I certainly wouldn't want them banned. But it go, you know, it always goes back to that old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be something to offend a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> That was actually funny. <laughs> actually, yeah, I think it's true. There's always something to offend them, like <laughs> one word or something. I don't know. But no, that's just obnoxious. Peter Lord, you, have to, you have to. Look, look, she's already. <laughs> she started already. I think we'll let you carry on this that discussion. That is ridiculous. 
That, no, hang on. <laughs> if you don't let me respond Go to on, that. Kate, have a word. Come on. It's not what a fetus looks like, okay? It's a cup of cells at 12 weeks. It does not look like that. It's a clump of mother cells. No hands are shown through that time. It's just a white Yo, my dude needs to run. He's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> She's pissed off. Oh my god, I'm telling you, all of them. They're always angry, always yelling. Look, look. She's gonna hit him. And get that camera out of my face, either. If you were making 100k a year, how much would you expect your man to make? Equal or. That means how much money shows up, okay? Or more. Why? Because when I look for a partner, I look for equal. Equal? Or if it's more, I'm not complaining, but it's gotta be equal. What do you think about this statement? My money is our money, her money is hers. I agree. <laughs> of course she agrees. <laughs> of course. Okay. I 100% agree. <laughs> Why? Our money is... Uh, when she says our money, she means uh, his money, you know? <laughs> her money is her money, right? She's earning for herself. But uh, like, oh fuck, no. No, uh, yeah, yeah. You expect a man to protect and provide for you? Yes. If a man is expected to provide and protect, shouldn't he have some form of authority over his woman? No, not at all. Why? A relationship is 50-50. But the it's money is not... 50-50 if his money is our money and your money is yours. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> oh my god. I'm telling you, some of them, they just come... When they ask, I'm, I'm not sure if that's uh, for real or not. Maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe it might be staged at, at this point. You don't even know what the fuck is going on. Like all these videos, I, I see so many of them. There are a lot of uh, these fake videos where uh, apparently, you know, uh, a woman is chased by uh, someone else or it's a like Karen uh, fighting with someone, you know. And uh, you see uh, at some point that there's a lot of sketches and there's a lot of videos in, uh, involving the same person every time in different scenarios, you know. So you don't really know if uh, these videos are real or not, like the one we saw. But you have to think, if it's actually real, <laughs> some of these uh, ladies, I've seen a bunch of them, uh, where they ask them like uh, about money and uh, relationship and stuff like that. And they always come out with some stupid, crazy ideas. And then they they know they're talking bullshit, you know, they know, they realize that they're saying something that they shouldn't say and it doesn't make fucking sense. I, I don't know. I don't know if they actually think about it, you know, or uh, they just come out with something on a, on the go and they're like, uh, okay, I'm gonna say this and hopefully it will make sense to them at some point, you know. I don't know if they actually believe in what they're saying. That's what I want to say, you know. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Feminist Getting Triggered Part 2 L'Oreal model race row Bergdorf reportedly What the fuck is Bergdorf? Wrote all white people are racist in fa Facebook po What? Wait Okay, now I'm triggered about this uh, <laughs> The new here. What the fuck is that? <clears throat> all white people are racist in Facebook posts what posts? What people? What Facebook? Where do these people see these things? I don't really see racism. I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Because <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> so I don't see racism. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Alright. Anyway. Let's let's move on. I, I don't know what's going on here. What <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't expecting that voice. Maybe it's the microphone. And sexism doesn't come from women. So of course it's caused by men. <laughs> this is a social construct. You don't think women can be sexist? I don't okay, so it's the microphone. I thought it was... Uh, anyway. I <laughs> think that women can in, uh, misogyny. What's a load like, of nonsense? No, because it's all... You don't think any women can be women sexist? Women don't uphold the patriarchy, Piers. That is uphold not the, the case. Uphold the patriarchy. What's that? You don't know what the patriarchy is. I do, but explain it. The patriarchy is basically a structure of men at the top of power. Mm. So... If it's, I've it's not women I've... that enforce the patriarchy. Okay, so it's a... Uh... You put men at the top of power, okay. That's that's the explanation of patriarchy, okay. Five most women don't have anything to the um, five most powerful people in this country currently are women. How does that how does that <laughs> <your> patriarchy? <laughs> I mean 
I was not even talking about the five most. I mean, it was the queen at some point. She died. Uh, bless her soul. But up until like a couple of months ago, a year, half a year ago, uh, <laughs> not even the top five, like the number one <laughs> was a woman. It was a, a woman. It was a queen. I realized how much more seriously racism is taken than sexism. Like I just came across this dude on TikTok that was like, if women ran the world, there would be no war. It's just a bunch of countries not talking to each other. If women ran the world, there would be no wars. Just a bunch of countries not talking to each other. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's like, my dude, that's that's sexist. Like, I don't get it. You're going off a stereotype. If someone was like, if black people around the world, there would only be gangs and thieves. That would be racist. That would be problematic. Like, why is it so normal to make fun of women and like just accept them as this inferior gender and everything's supposed to be like a joke? <sighs> okay. Since when did people lost their... When did they lost their sense of humor? Obviously, it was a joke, right? Why everything has to have a sense has to have a purpose a reason you know whatever you say they, it can't be just a simple joke there has to be a reason behind it you know or racism or sexism or fuck it whatever it is like why people can't just read it and be like ah oh, that's funny yeah <laughs> you know why has to be become a problem i don't understand that okay and so if you call them out in the comments, crazy feminist, but like, it's literally sexist. And okay, that's, I, that I don't agree, you know, even if uh, some lady that she just comes and telling you that it's a uh, sexist or something like that, you shouldn't say in the comments, oh, you're, you're a feminist or something like that. Usually you should just ignore the comments, you know. <laughs> also makes no sense, because if you just pick up a textbook, any history textbook, you'll see that every single problem humans have has been created by men. Because of women. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you think that there are women that aren't real women? <clears throat> yes. Okay, like what? A lesbian. A lesbian's not a, a real transgender. Woman. Why isn't a lesbian a real woman? Wait. I mean, I get the transgender, but why the woman? Why the lesbian? She's not a real woman. <laughs> I think my dude, he doesn't know as well what he's talking about. There, do you think men who take off the body parts and put on women body parts, you know, like breasts and all that, and put on dresses. Are they women or are they still, are they, yeah, are they women or are they still men? I'm going to be honest here. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really don't care what people do with their private parts. In my opinion, that's not a, a woman, okay, a transgender. But he said in the beginning, he said lesbians, they're not women, which that's completely stupid, <laughs> okay. Transgender people, like men who become women, yeah, they're not women, honestly, like, everyone can say whatever the fuck they want, I don't give a shit, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> lesbians, yeah, they're women, like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? You know how there are transgenders, uh -huh. let me do this, transgenders now, and they are confused <laughs> about their identity, so, you heard of Bruce Jenner, right? Mm -hmm. We all know Bruce is a man, but he took off. The body. Ooh, she's leaving. Uh, that's another thing that I don't I don't understand about this uh, feminists. They are defending the transgenders, which is fine. Like, if you want to do it, do it. But they are feminists. They should fight for women's rights. And then men are coming and they become women and they fight for their rights. How is that a thing? Because she's clearly pissed off. She just, uh, as soon as she heard about transgender, she just... Or maybe she doesn't want to talk about this topic. Right. Where are you going? I'm leaving. <clears throat> yeah. Why are you leaving? Because. What? Because what you're saying is extremely offensive and I'm not going to sit here what? for it. Why is that offensive to you? Why? <laughs> it's not offensive to you. Like, what, what the fuck you... That was the whole video. Um, I've learned a lot <laughs> watching this video and listening to these people uh, and the only things i've learned i, I didn't le learn anything about feminists to be honest <laughs> whatever they were talking about and their uh, arguments and stuff it was like complete nonsense <laughs> all i've learned is that people have no sense of humor anymore uh, i've learned that uh, <laughs> some ladies out there they don't really want 50 50 they want the whole thing they want to okay uh, i've learned that uh, they really don't know what they're talking about, okay? And that's it. <laughs> that's all I've learned from this video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep watching or making reactions to this kind of... Like I said, it's not my 
kind of my topic i really don't want to get involved in this bullshit i might have to watch some uh, vegan stuff as well and see maybe i will learn something useful from there at least vegans they have a reason behind i mean most of them not all of them but they do have a good reason behind uh, their beliefs yeah uh, not killing animals not hurting animals you know that kind of stuff uh, and at least maybe i get a good point of view from them but uh, as far as or maybe this video is not exp something to explain it's more like uh, make fun of them anyway guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did please like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye